Welcome to, on the other hand, and a special welcome to these new subscribers and any other new viewers. Recently I was on a memes page and I saw this one that caused me to say something along the lines of, yes, if we ignore all the people who died from starvation, most people had food to eat. Your powers of perception are frightening. I got into a back and forth with the person who posted it, and they pulled a quote that attributed a hundred million deaths to capitalism in the 20th century. This made me wonder, what does the death per capita rate look between capitalism and communism? I think that the hundred million attributed to capitalism is over the top, as that includes certain death tolls from the two world wars, colonial wars, anti-communist campaigns, and repressions, ethnic conflicts, and victims of famines or malnutrition. But I was confident that even with this exaggerated metric, I could steel man the argument and see what happened. And as I looked around, a hundred million deaths seems to be a common number used to deflect from the communist body count. So to compare, I pulled from a source that says communism has killed 149 million people since 1918. I think that this source is probably overestimating as well, but it does list communist countries, which is useful. So I will instead go for a more conservative estimate of 65 million people between 1917 and 2017. Now, looking at all the estimates, it seems like more people think the number is closer to 100 million people who have died from communist regimes rather than 65 million, but I want to give the argument for communism the benefit of the doubt. That is a sentence I never thought I would say, so don't take it out of context. So now, we have estimates for the death counts of both capitalism and communism. I needed to go find population data to get a per capita metric, and an overall global estimate for the world population in the 20th century is 11.4 billion. So let us tally the number of people who lived under communism. For every country I could, I estimated using the final population plus one half of the change in population since the start of the communist regime. It's rough, but again, I wanted to give this argument the benefit of the doubt to try to include the largest reasonable populations for each country, as larger populations would mean a lower per capita death rate. Also, detractors might try to pull a no true Scotsman fallacy and try to exclude some or all of these countries from the umbrella of communism. But the original argument literally lumps everything that isn't communism under the umbrella of capitalism. So I think I should have the same wiggle room. Here's a summary of the communist populations I came up with. China had 1.718 billion, the USSR had 349 million, North Korea 31 million, Cambodia 7 million, Afghanistan 15 million, Vietnam 121 million, Ethiopia 57 million, Yugoslavia 8 million, Chinese Soviet Republic 3 million, People's Republic of Mozambique, 16 million, Socialist Republic of Romania, 28 million, People's Republic of Bulgaria, 10 million, People's Republic of Angola, 19 million, Mongolian People's Republic, 2 million, People's Socialist Republic of Albania, 6 million, Republic of Cuba, 12 million, German Democratic Republic, 19 million, Socialist Republic of Czechoslovakia, 16 million, Lao People's Democratic Republic, 7 million, Hungarian People's Republic, 11 million, People's Republic of Poland, 45 million, and I estimated the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen to have 15 million people. So altogether, that puts our rough communist population estimate to be about 2.515 billion people in the 20th century. And with a 11.4 billion total population, that leaves 8.8 .8 billion who lived in not communism. And the body counts being 100 million by capitalism, aka not communism, and 65 million by communism as well. Divide that out, and that means that over the course of the 20th century, if you lived under capitalism, your death rate was approximately 113 out of every 10,000 people, and under communism, it was 258 out of every 10,000 people. Communism, in this rough estimate, kills 2.28 times the amount of people as does capitalism, aka everything that isn't communism. And this result comes from picking the low-end estimations of death counts for communism, granting the premise of 100 million deaths due to capitalism, and trying to grant the largest total population to the communist countries. I did my best to give communism the benefit of the doubt in this case, and it still did significantly worse. Now it's possible that some of my estimates were off, so I've linked all the sources in the description to let people double-check my work and flag anything I missed. But communism has killed at least twice as many people as capitalism per capita. People may try to argue many things in relation to communism, but it is objectively more deadly. As always, thanks, hope you enjoyed, and if you did, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you'll get notified for new uploads.